what's poppin y'all it's jamal virgo back another video had a little bit of time on my hands as i always say so you can guess and imagine my daughter's sleep right now had a little bit of time like i said figured i'd give y'all two for one today and since it's the holiday season i'm gonna try to knock out two holiday shoes by the same brand literally the same shoe two totally different stories two different takes on what a christmas shoe would should and could be um the funny thing is i recorded this video literally maybe minutes before this but my phone died i thought i could last but i was rambling on the cool thing though is i went through a lot of stuff already so hopefully i can make this one a lot more concise you feel me so let's jump into it i'm gonna just show y'all both shoes up front that way anybody who just wants to like check out the shoe you don't have to worry about me like dragging it on with either one if you're just trying to see one or the other so the two shoes i got today are adidas forums they are technically considered two different models of the forum. I'm gonna show you one, show you the other, and then I did do a little bit of research on both, so that way I can kind of talk to um, some of the differences. For the most part, it is the same shoe, but there is like one major difference and then a couple little minor ones. But anyway, let's jump into the first one. I'm gonna show you this one first because I think it deserves a lot more love that I feel like it's getting. Um, it's still online. The other shoe that I'll show you is sold out. This one's still online, which is understandable. May not be everybody's cup of tea in terms of the movie that it's inspired by, also um, the shoe itself. And when I say the shoe, I mean like the colorway. So I get it. But anyway, box wise, regular Adidas Originals box, blue and white. Um, tag on there says Adidas uh, Forum 84 low home alone this is the home alone i'm sure you could tell by the names on the video it'll be the home alone the other shoes the grinch but this one is actually inspired by the home alone 2 movie so this one says home alone i do have the original home alone 1 for him which we will get into a little bit later getting into the shoe i'll pull both out one of them i actually did try on which will kind of get into the reason why i feel like there's differences i want to tell you about but here it is man um super dope shoe in my opinion like i said i feel like a lot of people are going to sleep on it which is understandable the colorway is a little how would i say muted also super chill which actually if you think about it now that i like i said i had already done the video once so i'm just kind of like reiterating some of the things that i had talked about the character that this is based off of was also pretty chill so it makes sense but anyway just to kind of dive right into this so like i said this is a forum 84 uh, low so to talk about some of the differences so the other shoe or even if you own other forums the eight difference between the 84 that i at least was able to kind of um come to a conclusion about based on my research and just checking out adidas's website the 84 is usually made with kind of higher materials on the lining of the shoe so this one like in terms of literally inner lining here lining around the uh the toe box uh, like the eye stays, literally most of the 84s um, appear to be ones that have higher quality. So there's even, I'll put some pictures up, but there's like the 84, Forum 84 Low, the AEC, um, the other one is called the, the LG, um, the AE, I think that one is aged something, like the AA, I think stands for age, because that's the one that has like the age midsole. But this one is an 84. Now those two, the 84s, I have not tried them on yet, like an actual specific 84. And I actually do have the ability to. But this shoe does not fit the way most Adidas shoes fit for me. So most Adidas shoes, I go nine and a half. Generally speaking, like most Nike, Nikes, um, Air Jordan 1s, I'm a 10. But I'm also like in between a 10 and nine and a half in general. But most Adidas shoes, Based on their sizing, which I've heard some things about, like they need to redo their sizing for most of their shoes, I can just go nine and a half, like it works for me for almost all my Adidas shoes. But this shoe, I got a nine and a half, and I felt like I was busting through the shoe, like I was the pigeon lady that this is based off of. I'm sure the shoe she had on had holes in the front. So I had to return that one, and then I got a size 10, which is my normal size in most other brands. And it was perfect like this it's perfect on me so yeah that's the one thing i would say if you get an 84 i would suggest going true to size but other form like the grinch and any other form like this one i would suggest going down a half size this one i got a size 10 and it's actually a half size too big i still rock it though but anyway back to the home alone twos so like i said color wise i understand why people may not be feeling this it's a very muted shoe the colorway is based on the pigeon lady um, I'll try to see if I can find her name, if she actually had a character, the character had a name in the movie. I don't know if she did. I think she was literally just Pigeon Lady. But essentially, to give a quick rundown, Home Alone 2 is the sequel to Home Alone. Macaulay Culkin's character, Kevin McAllister, instead of being left home in Chicago this year for, or that year for Christmas, 
His family books a trip to Miami, get away from the cold of Chicago. He accidentally follows a guy who looks like his dad onto a plane to New York. He spends spends Christmas in New York that year, he runs into a couple wild characters, uh, and along the way meets a lady who actually helps him, um, you know, kind of just refine the Christmas spirit and ultimately reconnect with his mother. And that is the pigeon lady who this shoe is based off of. So they did a lot, and I looked on the website actually, a lot of the shoe is based on um, parts of the movie or at least the character itself. So uh, just to kind of go over, I just wanted to like triple check the website, but um, the grays on the shoe, which to me I will speak to right now, I think this is the best part of the shoe, even though it's like the most muted and probably overlooked. The grays and the difference in suede and leathers, like to me, I don't know why, like in the pictures, I was like, man, let me just try it. Got it in hand, in person, and I put it on with the right pair of pants, which to me, if y'all haven't come to that realization yet, some of the shoes that y'all on the fence about, if you try them on with the right look, right pair of pants, it'll do wonders for you. You'll, you'll, it, you might have a hurt bank account, but you will, you don't even, you won't have to convince yourself. You can literally find the right look for a pair of shoes. Anyway, the gray suede on the on the top, um, basically around the toe box, the eye stays, um, the side panel of the shoe is like in this kind of, I guess it's a short haired suede, short haired suede, but it's also kind of got this rough feel, which to me, I feel like is dope because it goes to the execution of the storytelling in the shoe, which is a New York City pigeon. I'm sure if they, if you felt they, they feathers, it probably feels how scruffy this feels. You know what I'm saying? Just walking through New York, you know what I'm saying? Yo, what's up, B? That's how they, I'm assuming they talk. You know what I'm saying? If they see you with these on there, oh, you got, you got the Home Alone 2 joints. You know what I'm saying? You, my man, he was with my uncle down there, you know what I'm saying, Brooklyn. When he was filming, the, you know, the joint, they didn't want to pay my uncle. My bad, sorry, I'm going on a tangent. Anyway, so between that suede, the gray on the, um, the gray leather on the stripes, on the side, the heel cup is a darker uh, gray. The leather back here actually feels pretty nice, like wrapping around the back here. Uh, that's a darker gray. The gray inside here, which I, it's not, it's like a, um, I don't even know what material it is. Anyway, that's a different shade of gray. Inside, they got these 3M hits. I hope y'all can see it, these 3M hits. They also have like a Y pattern on it, almost like how the Yeezy um, one had, like the Y pattern, and it's 3M, which to me is dope because it makes it feel like a pigeon's foot walking across. I don't know if they did it on purpose. If I did and the DJ should watch this, he was some credit, you know what I'm saying? I don't even mean no store credit, just credit, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that, and then the laces to me, I feel like this is what make the shoe pop, man. I don't know, as soon as I saw it in person, you know, I'm looking it over and when I saw the laces, I'm like, oh, they did that thing. It's almost like this ice blue gray tone. I know I got the strap hanging off, but it's like an ice blue gray. It, do, it, it does wonders for the shoe to me, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, so this is all, I know I just went on a long ass tangent, but all these different grays are meant to resemble all the different shades of gray that the pigeons come in New York. Um, so yeah, burgundy hit on the inside of the sock liner and then on your loop uh, holder on the inside, also got that burgundy hit. The burgundy is inspired by the character's hat. The pigeon lady, um, as you can see on the hang tag that comes on the other shoe, it's like a burgundy, oh my bad, sorry. It's like a burgundy hat she wears. And on the inside her, uh, the logo of her face, it says, I'm like the birds I care for. Just going another quick tangent, Home Alone 1 and 2, my favorite Christmas movies, literally all time, hands down. Don't ask me, argue with your auntie and your uncle, it don't matter. These movies to me represent Christmas the best for me in terms of just enjoyment and like me growing up a 90s baby. If I had to choose one movie to watch every day up until the day of Christmas, the whole month of December, it would be both of these. So yeah, anyway, tying it back. I forget what she says, but she says something like, I'm like the birds I care for. Like basically saying it like they're all just kind of like people overlook them type thing. Other side just says Home Alone 2, which is what the character in the movie and the shoe is based on. The uh, the strap has the Adidas logo there, but it's, um, if you can see it, it has like a, a skyline of New York at the top. Inside the strap on this one, it says, as long as we each have our turtle dove, you can see. The other one says, which is what they, Kevin and the pigeon lady say to each other in the movie, it says, we'll be friends forever. Y'all can see. Uh, scene from the movie where him and the pigeon lady kind of have a sentimental moment about being friends. When he saves the day, saves Christmas, um, stops the thieves from, you know, ruining Christmas. He finds these two turtle doves, he gives her one, he keeps one. 
friends forever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the burgundy on the inside, like I said, is about her hat. Moving inside the shoe, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. When I tried it the first time I recorded it, it didn't really come through fully. But on the inside of the shoe, the tag basically just says, it basically just says Home Alone 2, Lost in New York as a Adidas symbol. Now, this part I will have to probably take pictures of underneath the tongue. So literally like where my fingers pointing to, like inside the tongue, like I said, you can't see it, but there's an outline of the pigeon lady, like on the inside. And then literally like on the panels of the shoe, like literally on the side, inside and the outside panels of the shoe, Inside, there's literally like Christmas wrapping, like type vibes. There's ho, 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 there's reindeer. Like it's just basically, it looks like Christmas. So yeah, man, I think it's super dope. You know, even the, at the bottom, the fact that this is, it's not even like an off white. It's not like a cream, it's not a gray. It's like a brownish almost. Like it literally looks like New York. Like if you walked around and it's New York. Um, and then on the bottom, um, just like a dark gray uh, outsole. But yeah, man, like I said, I, I understand why a lot of people probably are sleeping on it. Like I said, it's unassuming. It's just a gray, light gray and a dark gray shoe, but, oh shit. Okay, I'm sorry that I zoomed out or zoomed in. It happens when I'm on my watch. Um, like sometimes if I scroll too fast, it'll zoom me in. I hope it wasn't like that for a long time. But anyway, the aglets on the front say hiya pal, which is also what Kevin and the ladies say to each other. Yeah, man, it's just super dope. I think, like I said, it's gonna be very slept on. I don't think it'll be hard to get the shoe. And the last thing that I forgot, the last time I shot this, but it has the M for McAllister. And I forget, I think this is on their house or something. There's some place in the movie that like, this is their family emblem or something like that. It's on the back here. It's also on the back of the original one in red. But yeah, so these are the Home Alone 2s. First shoe out of the way. Get to the next one. Oh, real quick, these shoes come with a dark gray and then a white lace for the Home Alones. Next shoe, so I'm sure a lot of y'all are coming to see. So this one, that's crazy. I said I was gonna get to each shoe in the beginning and I didn't do that. I apologize. If you've waited this long, I will make sure to put little stamps uh, or time stamps so you can know where to skip ahead to. But this shoe I knew was gonna be a freaking hit from the jump and like literally as soon as I saw the photos. Um, this is the shoe, I'm gonna show you the box in a second. But as you can tell, like, this shoe is nuts. I'm just really happy with the fact that this is a distinct Christmas Grinch shoe that you can tell like Adidas was not trying to like make just a copy of what Nike did with the uh, Kobe 6. Cause I think we can all agree that's probably the best Christmas shoe hands down or even, you know, specifically Grinch shoes that have come out, but that's the best Christmas shoe hands down. I would put this in top five, like honestly. Th this one is up there for me personally. The Kobe Grinch 6 is number one, but these are up there in my top five. I just think the way they executed it, like, is just nuts. And we're gonna get into it, but like, as you can see, like I said, I'm gonna get into it. So this one's super dope box. Um, top of the box has the Grinch's hand holding that ornament with the Adidas logo on the top. I'm sorry, I got your, your boy Grinch creeping and peeping. Okay, so this one for the, um, oh, well, this side really quick, it just has the Adidas Originals logo and the Grinch. Okay, so for this one, it says, Forum low underscore the Grinch opt one. So I don't know specifically what that refers to, why there's an underscore, why maybe it's supposed to be a dash or something, I don't know. And then opt one almost as if it's like option one and maybe there's another option. Oh, let me just show y'all really quick. I know I'm just so geek to show y'all this. It does come with a, each shoe is wrapped in its own, just Adidas with the gold tree floor logo. But um, the bit, like both shoes are wrapped in each one and then both shoes together are wrapped in this Grinch paper. Super dope, man. Like I said, it's execution. Shoe wise, in terms of stuff it comes with before I dive into each shoe, this is both shoes side by side. Um, does come with a hang tag. It's literally just a little rubber hang tag with that um, Grinch hand and the ornament. And then it comes with these cool little aglets on each side. And they're already, they come on the shoe, which I'm probably just gonna leave on. Maybe eventually, you know, after, uh, sorry with the um, strap. After a couple wears, I'll take them off, but super dope, man. Since I'm here, I'm gonna just keep going this way. The tongue has the Grinch's eyes on it. I think that's super dope, man. Dope placement, man. They, they executed this one well, in my opinion, man. They killed it. But going down the sock liner, it's got this kind of like muddy green color. Um, inside the sole, it has a picture of the Grinch, which I think y'all might be able to see. You can see it faintly. A picture of the Grinch smiling. The other shoe, he is frowning. <laughs> really quick, so it comes with this like green, I guess kind of like apple green 
lace on there, already laced, but then it also comes with a like alignment, almost like a lemon lime green and then a red shoe laces. Um, on the strap, there's nothing on the inside, it's just a green Velcro, but it is covered in the same hairy suede, which we'll get into right now. So that hairy suede is on the, from the strap to the side panel of the shoe, the three stripes the, the around the toe cap, um, or a mud guard, I guess if you want to call it that. The inside three stripes, um, literally, man, it's 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 everywhere. And I think this is to me, this is where it becomes a dope part about the shoe and the way Adidas executed this because the fact that it's like long and I don't know, like I feel like I've seen long hair, long hair suede on shoes and like other products, but like the way this one looks, it's wiry, like every different. And I knew it was crazy because this is probably some weird sneaker nerd shit. But literally, like when you, I don't know if you can see it, but like. Like if I blow on it, literally the suede, like it all fribbles everywhere. Which like, if you watch the movie with Jim Carrey, the way that they did his makeup, it looks just like what this, this is what I would expect him to have under his fur, a pair of these on. On the actual toe box and in between the three stripes, um, there's like a shorter hair suede that's like a lighter color green. One of my favorite parts about the shoe is you can't really see it, but the trefoil logo right there is like mud green like it literally looks like mud like i said the execution man like if you listen to the song mr grinch you've got in like it's all talking about how grimy he is like he's basically mr grouch from what's it? i think mr grouch yeah, who lives in a trash can on sesame street um the song also has that lighter color green midsole it's like that almost lime green color moving on to the outsole basically a milky um almost see-through uh, bottom here. I love that, man. It's just dope. I love see-through bottoms or milky bottoms anyway. I got the, uh, on the little ball of the foot hit there, red, you know what I'm saying, for that Christmas pop, green and red, baby. Your little loop for your, um, strap is also red. Yeah, man, I think this one is nuts. Like, they hit it out the park with this one. I think I did talk about it earlier, but sizing-wise, for the Home Alone 2s, again, I went size 10, which is my, like, outside of Adidas everyday size. But in most Adidas shoes, including the Forum, I usually do a size nine and a half. These ones I got a nine and a half, they fit perfect, but the Home Alone 2s, I had to go a 10 size up. And it's because it's an 84. 84 is cut a little bit different because of the materials. This is a regular Home Alone, sorry, <laughs> a regular Adidas Forum. So this one fits like how most Forums will fit. Here's your uh, Grinch on this side, on the top. Home Alone on the bottom. Like I said, I know people probably unassuming about the, the Home Alone, I understand it. I'm just making sure my camera's good, I get it. It's very unassuming, you know what I mean? Not a lot going on, but I really think if you give the shoe a chance, you really might like it. That's my review on both shoes. Like I said, for Christmas time, I think Adidas came through. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, if y'all have the shoe and I forgot something, just remind me on the bottom, but. Looking forward to what they do in the future, whether it's next Christmas or whatever other drops they got. Uh, Y'all let me know if you liked both of them, if you cop both, if you cop one or the other, if you were thinking about copping one or the other, which one would you get? If you were to pull up to an ugly Christmas sweater party or just a Christmas party, which one are you rocking? What type of, you know what I'm saying, Christmas attire are you bringing? Are you the crazy sweater person with the Grinch on, the Grinch is on, or the one that wears the subtle joint like the pigeon lady? and you just feed the pigeons outside where everybody eating their food and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I wanted to get this out in terms of Christmas. Wanted to say thank y'all. Happy holidays to you and yours. I hope you are well. I hope you're ending the year correctly. And when I say correctly, I just mean happy around the ones you love and looking forward to the next year. Basically me trying to tell you how much I appreciate y'all. Happy for y'all. Happy to have you here watching. You know what I always say, I never pressure nobody to follow or anything like that or like. If you got something from the video, I'm happy you came. Um, I'll see you on the next one. You can follow me on the socials, Jamal Virgo Child, Instagram, um, TikTok, Twitter. I don't really be on Twitter like that no more, but all of them are pretty much the same. So to mine and yours, to me and mine, <laughs> from me and mine to you and yours, have a good rest of the year, man. I'll see y'all back soon. Those.